So welcome to the Chaos Common Metrics Working Group for August 4th. I'm going to share my screen with the notes so that we can get started. We have a few things on the agenda today, mostly around uh, revisiting revisiting some metrics. Um, Yeah, so we have a couple of revisiting metrics that we're going to talk about. Um, and I noticed that the two people who have action items that were not completed are not in this meeting. So not to call out Sean and Matt while they're not here or anything, but uh, we'll we'll skip, I guess we'll skip those action items. Um, does anyone have anything else to add to the agenda? It looks like... Uh... Uh, I yeah. had I had two metric to review. I have reviewed one, not the both, so okay. which is not on the agenda. Let me put the link on the agenda. Yeah, please. Um, um, and then also looks like somebody added from community handbook doc review. I did add that, so I okay. can talk about that. Perfect. Is that uh is that a short thing? Um, I'm wondering if we should actually move that to the top of the agenda because the rest of them are diving deep dives into metrics. I wonder if we should just get yours done first. Uh, and I had two action items for release of those metrics and get the visuals from Grimoire Lab. I've contacted Georg. He said he'll review it and get back to me. So I'm just waiting. Okay, perfect. So, yep. Oh yeah, I have those in our... Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so once I'll get the visuals, it, these are ready to release. I'm just waiting for the visuals. Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and move yours to the top of the agenda, Elizabeth. Okay. Okay. So as you all know, uh, Ruth and Shoya are working on a Google Season of Docs um, project where they're kind of reviewing everything in the community handbook and restructuring some things. These two full, uh, files, Path to Leadership and ro Roles and Responsibilities, floated to the top of um, their review. Um, they are in dire need of updating and re revising. We brought this up at the community meeting, hoping to get some broader eyes on these. Uh, two documents. Um, didn't get a ton of feedback. We brought it up at the DEI working group yesterday. Didn't get a ton of feedback from folks. Um, so we also wanted to just bring it here since it does touch on chaos operations and chaos as a whole. Um, I would, I'm going to keep bringing this up <laughs> until we get more input from people. So um, yeah, there, as you'll see, if you click on on there, they're pretty out, outdated and need some um, heavy revisions, I believe. So I don't know if we want to take time to look at these now or if we want to give people time to, to kind of digest them and um, come back. I'm also not sure if we should be making changes in this format. Um, I kind of was thinking maybe it should be in a markdown format first so that we know kind of what's been changed and things like that. So uh, I'm not really sure, but um, both of these documents need some eyes and need some some revisions. Kevin had brought up a great point about these paths to leadership just being checklists of things. It's not really, you know, kind of a path that you follow. And also, um, we've had some just to, just to give a little bit more context on what has been brought up is that, um, you know, chaos philosophy, I don't know if we are um, advocating, I, I should say, I don't know if we have anybody that's like watching what people are contributing and watching where they are on the path to see if they're ready to be promoted. It seems more of like a, a need driven um, motivation, like, oh, we, we see a need and now we're going to look for people that might fit that need and then ask if they want to be in that that uh, role or be more of a leader. So I don't know what, what, I don't know what to do with these. <laughs> to be perfectly frank, I don't know what to do with these. And I don't know what to tell Ruth and Shoya. And they're like, what are we saying in these documents? Um, Cause it's, it's like they're philosophical questions and philosophical things about chaos. So yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I do, I, I have opinions. Um, I bet everyone is surprised to hear this, that I have opinions. 
Um, <laughs> but we've actually, within the CNCF, we've done a lot of work in these areas. And a lot of this work draws on some of the stuff that came out of, of Kubernetes. So, so there are some good templates for this. And I think what we might want to do is maybe kind of start over with one of the, some of the more established templates and rethink how it is that that we think people move up within within the chaos community. So so the one concept is the concept of a contributor ladder. So this is the template that we we use within the within the CNCF and and it's it's designed to be customized. So you know we can call things different things, we can have, you know, more or or fewer uh roles. But the idea is that, you know, this is kind of a standardized way of documenting how people move up within, within a community and thinking about it in the terms of a ladder. Um, so that's one, one resource that we can use. We also have, um, I'll need to grab the, the link, but there's some documentation around kind of how to do this um, and how to All use right. it. So let me, I'll see if I can, uh, um, I'll see if I can dig up the, the links for that as well. And I'm, I'm happy to help with sort of interpreting the, um, you know, how to, how to use some of these, some of these things. Um, does that, is that helpful? Extremely, I think. Um, so I agree. I think we need to kind of just redo these two documents entirely, and maybe we only need one. Maybe they intermingle enough so that it's just kind of here it is, you know, here's everything. So, um, yes, I love that idea. I love pulling from, uh, or I shouldn't say pulling from, building on work that has already been done. <laughs> so um, I, I love that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Don, for bringing that up. Okay. Cool. Um, as far as like how that, how that's going to go, like who are the people that build that document out? I don't know. And like, if you want to help with that, awesome. Like, I'm not sure who should be on that team. I would love to have, you know, a very diverse group of people working on this doc, but um, yeah, I don't know how to kind of pull people in on this. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, happy to help. Um, I think, I think it, might it might help to just have somebody kind of kind of take it and and sort of sort of merge the two documents and put the put the structure in place and then start to get feedback from people um and that's that's probably somebody um you know somebody like elizabeth that's kind of got because you got sort of like at your fingers and all of the all of the different parts of the of the community it might be good for you you to do a first draft and then if you have any questions about how to do that um i'm happy to i'm happy to help or talk you through that or brainstorm about how to do that and then i think once once we can have like kind of a structure in place then we can get more people involved in providing feedback and making suggestions okay that works completely for me um and maybe that's the reason we hadn't gotten a ton of feedback is it's a little bit overwhelming because they are so out of whack and it's like where do we even kind of start to sort all this stuff out. So, okay, I'll take that action item just to kind of take these two documents, um, the path to leadership and roles and responsibilities, pull them together around that template that you've dropped in there, those two templates. And um, I will come back to the group with uh, some kind of um, starting point, <laughs> first draft, if you will. Sounds good, thanks. Um. All right, next on the agenda, um, Kevin, did you get a chance to look at the types of contributions revisiting metric? Yes, I did. I would love to share that with you. Do you want me to stop sharing so you can share? Well, hold on, my, my, my Firefox has been malfunctioning all morning, so I don't have uh, I can share it. I can totally share it if that's easier. Okay. It's, it's this link, right? Is there a Google Doc link in oh, there? Oh, let me let me try again. The so Google Doc link is in the Excel sheet, uh, the spreadsheet, I think. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Let me grab it from there. Yep. 
because in the last meeting, Kevin was trying to put the link in the spreadsheet. <laughs> trying and succeeding? Or trying I or hope trying so. and failing? I'm thinking succeeding at least. Uh, I, let's see. Uh, you are looking at the common, yeah, I scroll There down. it is. Yeah, this one. Yes. There you go. I did succeed in putting a Look at that. There. there we go. Okay. Uh, so like, I, I would. seem to have so I, access. Uh, yeah, if, if you request access, I, I'll reply to the email. Uh, okay. Give it to everyone, Kevin. Yeah, just, just make it wide open. Anyone can edit with the link. That's what we do with all the other docs. Can you drop the uh, drop the link to this document in the chat? Absolutely. I never use Chrome, so I don't have any, nothing is there. Okay, so I, so I did, uh, I did edit this document, and unfortunately, I wasn't clever enough to turn the suggestions on. So if you want to see my edits, we have to uh, look at the history. Man, I'm having so many trouble, so many problems here. <laughs> That's fine. I think I think with the revisited metrics, we're fine. Just kind of taking a fresh look at it. I hope so because I did the same thing with the organizational diversity metrics, except that there is no history because I created a new doc, which we'll talk about when we get to that one. So, uh, okay, here, hold on. I'm sharing now. With that thought, I have a suggestion which I have kept it previously to whatever oh. Google, uh, whatever Google Docs we are using, we should keep, retain them when we are revising them. Rather than copying everything, creating a new doc, we can just start editing the previous one if we have the link retained. Okay, so I so I made a lot of edits to this, and then I realized that I didn't have suggestions on, so I turned suggestions on. So, uh, so one of the things one of the things I did with this uh, with this metric was I went through and I adjusted the, uh, uh, the bullet points. So our, uh, our markdown, uh, the application that we use to pull markdown onto the website does not support uh, uh, nested bullets. Nested bullets, thank you. <laughs> uh, so, so we have to, uh, when, when we have nested bullets, we've been, uh, uh, we convert it into a uh, kind of the, the high-level bullet and go bold, and then we have uh, the, the nested bullets are then the bullets. So uh, if you look at the template, there's some guidance on how to do that. Uh, okay. So uh, and then uh, in addition, so in the objectives, I added a DEI objective uh, to so that this metric comes up to. Uh, matches our, uh, our requirements there. Uh, and then I, I got rid of some text in the description that uh, I thought was, uh, uh, I, I thought it was kind of defensive. <laughs> uh, so that, that line that many, many projects have community members who do not write code, but contribute in another equally valuable ways. I think at, at this point, that statement is just, everyone should understand that. And uh, the way it was written came across as kind of uh, like def defensive that we were, we were kind of making that case. And I think we've, we've kind of moved past having to make that case. So, so I've just changed it to, uh, to say that contributions include all of these things. Uh, so yeah, I think that looks well. good. I like that. Uh, and then we're, uh, so we are adding context tags and keyword tags to this. Uh, that's part of the new template. So I've, I've added those in as well. However, I haven't, uh, I haven't added keyword tags. 
And then what else do we need to add? Uh, so just some minor editing uh, throughout. And this one did it did have a lot of bulleted uh, nested bullets, so there was a lot of uh, changes there as well. Anybody have any questions about any of this? Um, the one thing that I don't see is the contributors. Oh yeah, I had not, uh, I hadn't gotten to that yet. So yeah. uh, okay. yes, we should add contributors. However, I'm never sure how to uh, how to fill that. So should it just be the contributors that worked on the revision? Or should we go back and, and look at some of the uh, uh, other people that have, that have worked on this document? More uh, back to the history of the, uh, the document itself. I would say both if we can. Okay. Maybe we can take a peek at that real quick. Uh, to Vinod's point, if we had, uh, if we had used the original, uh, Google Doc, rather than creating a new one, we would have that. That is why I'm always uh, constantly saying that in the Excel sheet, we should keep a link of the Google Doc as a one column. So that, that Google Doc link may be in the, uh, in the issue for this metric. Probably in the, the original closed, issue. The closed issue for this metric. Yeah, I think we I think we need to change the process for re revising metrics. Um, like the note said, I I think we should be using the original Google yes. Doc instead of creating a new Google Doc because what we talked about in the last meeting was create a create a new issue, create a new Google Doc, and and that's what I did, and then I realized we already. We already had one, and I I made things confusing. I'll I'll talk about that more in the organizational diversity, but. I agree. We need a we need a better process that reuses the stuff we have. Yep, and I did the same. I find out the previous link from the meeting minutes, and I opened the same one rather than click. And I copied that link in the like minutes that this is one we are editing. Yeah. So I think um, Elizabeth, maybe can you help us take the action item to maybe proliferate this out to the other working groups as well so that the other working groups are also reusing the original original Google Docs so they're not having the same problem that we're having. Yeah, that four... works. Oh, sorry. One of the first steps in that is probably what Vinod had mentioned earlier, and that's making sure that the link to the Google Doc stays in the spreadsheet okay. documents. Yep. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So in that in that spreadsheet document, we need a link to the markdown, and we need a link to the Google Doc, uh, and those need to be kind of permanent. So we probably need to talk to Matt about that as well. Yeah, because he's kind of the keeper of the spreadsheet. Okay, anything else on, on this metric? Maybe real quick while we're here, can yeah. you all help me uh, do a little detective work on the contributors that we should add to this? Is this the original document? This one? Like, can we no, look at No, no, I, nope, I created it. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably something we just need to do offline is try to dig up that old document and see who contributed. Um, I'm going to have to do the same thing on organization diversity as well. Yeah. So I think the, the places to look are check the issue, see who commented in the issue, add any of those people who commented on the issue, 
add anyone that's recognizable from the Google Doc. And some people may not be because they come in anonymous, right? Uh, and then add anyone who uh, was part of the PR, I guess. So one question or uh, one comment or question on this is, we get the contributor optional, like anyone who wants their name to be in the list needs to be added. So if we are like looking at it, but they are not uh, willing to do it, or we haven't taken the consent or anything, how we are going to add them as a just, uh, yeah, I'm not sure, so. That's a good point. Uh, I was gonna say we could we could do a shout out on the uh, Slack channel, just let them know. Yes. We've uh we've edited the contributors here. Let us know if you we've, uh, yep. we've, we've added we've added uh the contributors who we thought worked on it. Yep. Let us know if you'd like your name removed or added. Yeah. Yep. Uh, that's a good idea. I yes. Like yeah, I agree with that. Elizabeth, did I spell your name right? Yeah, thanks. And just add everyone on the call to start. My guess is Sean and Matt are on here as well. Can you also add that line about date of last review? I don't know if you oh, yeah. talked about that. Um, Oh, and that is a, uh, I forget what the. Uh... Let me put that text, I will put it, I have it. Yeah, I was gonna say, this okay. is what it. Yeah, okay. this one. Okay. Oh, you just copied it. Okay. Um, okay. That is third. Uh, as part of the recurring process, right? Okay. Anything else on on this one? So okay, I think, if I just accept all the suggestions. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So I think the new the new action item is uh, confirm the contributor and uh, and do the PR. Does that sound like the right action for that? Okay. Um, and then I did organizational diversity. Uh, uh, go ahead, Anand. I don't see context tags and keyword tags in the template. I just reviewed the template yesterday, and what I reviewed, I don't see those two tags. So are we okay. going to add it? Or uh, if so, then we need to add it to the template because for reviewing, I always refer to the ta uh, template that are we missing anything in the review process? Okay. It does need to be added to the template. Yeah. Okay. It's not in. It's not in mine either, and I pulled directly from the from the template. And I don't see synonyms or any mention of that. Or so is the, that uh, optional? Uh, if that is optional, then we have to point out as optional in the template. So the synonym tags are being replaced by the keyword tags. So okay. Uh, so if it's a if it's a synonym. If it's a known synonym, it's probably a keyword. Okay. Uh, so in addition to the, uh, and we, we actually do need to provide some guidance on how to uh, fill in the uh, context tags and the keyword tags. Uh, so I suppose you could you can hold off on adding those to yours. Uh, okay. And I will, uh, I will work on getting that added to the template and add some uh, uh, direction on how to do that. 
Okay. Have to uh, have a fill those out. Okay. Uh, okay. So I did organizational diversity, and basically what I did was I I just did the command line and I copied the the markdown file of the organizational diversity file that was in GitHub, and then I modified it. Um, without tracking any of the changes. And then I went to go to create the issue um, in the common working group and, and look at this one, but it had already created the issue and yep. there was already a doc right there, which I didn't see and I'd already done all of the work. So, um, <laughs> so, so sorry, we, we yeah. ended up with a new doc. I wish I wished I had realized that this was here. That's, that's, I guess that's my bad. I mean, I took the action item to create all the new things but I really should have double checked that we didn't already already have it. Um, so so apologies, so, but I I did. Yeah, it. no, I, I would then suggest just add the new link of that doc. Okay, you have already added it. Yeah, I added it as a comment because okay. I wanted to just talk about it here. I didn't want to edit your issue and replace your your doc, so I just that's fine. <laughs> so, I, so I did it this way. Um, okay. And and so we're 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 stuck with a brand new, uh, brand new one. I didn't actually make a ton of changes. This this one looked pretty good. Um, the vast majority of the changes that I made um, were around uh, fixing some links, uh, and um, fixing the bullet points because this one also had a bunch of nested bullet points. Um, and then it also has some broken links, and I could not find replacements for these. Um, the links, the links just broken. It doesn't redirect anywhere. Um, I tried searching the GitHub org for those names, and I think that the metrics have been either they've been deleted or they've been renamed in a way that I couldn't find them. Um, organizations. Yeah. I don't remember that ever being a metric that was. Defined. No, and I kind of, I kind of searched here. Let me just, let me just show you what I, what I uncovered, um, and maybe that will ring some bells with somebody. Um, actually, because I think that there was a, um, there was a commit the the code ones are all like just yeah. showing the the link the broken one so it looks like at some point in the evolution working group they renamed organization to contributing organizations i think so this was done and in... yeah can you open this link but i don't that, that's not an evolution metric though yeah that doesn't exist in this evolution metric, does it? Was it no. moved from evolution to the... Because we have moved some metrics over the period of time to different working groups. Yeah, I I, I don't know. I I mean, this is in, in evolution. This change was made, but this doesn't still, this doesn't exist. I don't think as a file. So I, I would, this is what I'm thinking is it was moved from evolution to common. Oh, maybe, but I'm not sure, but this must be. Um, on the spreadsheet, it's listed under evolution, but it's still under considering. So it's just like an idea we had. Okay. So at, at one point, at at one point, the determination was made that the only the only markdown files that should exist uh, are for metrics are, are markdown files that have been released. So all of anything that wasn't released, they probably went in and deleted, and that's probably what happened here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to propose that we just delete these entirely, um, because if you look uh, at the next two bullet points, they actually talk about the exact same thing new contributor yeah. organizations and number, but they do it in a descriptive way as opposed to with links that don't work. Yeah, I think this is exactly why we decided to uh, to delete them because of the, the confusion around them. So linking yeah. to a markdown file like that, that, so this metric hasn't been released, but we're... I'm, I may have misspoke a little. Um, 
so yes, the new contributing organizations is listed under considering in evolution. The contributing okay. organizations, the spreadsheet says we moved it and renamed it to organizational diversity, okay. which is, which is, so, this one. Okay. Which is the metric we're editing. So we were linking right. to <laughs> the metric. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to delete the link to this affiliation diversity and leave the, um, the description. And then I did, I did also fix a couple of links. So I, I think I linked this to specifically to the element factor metric. And then there were some links that were relative links, which I know are a no, no based on what the template said. So I, I, um, expanded those out to be full, full links. Um, I have the same issue with known contributors. Uh, so uh, I think we'll probably just do the same thing that we did here. Um, let's add all of us. Make sure I spell all of your names right. And again, I'm pretty sure that Sean and Matt worked on this too. Okay, um, and then I'll just add a note that I need to add. Um, and is there, I'll, I'll talk to Sean about this because there's just a link to Augur for potential implementation and references and it feels like maybe we should link to something more specific. Um, so I'll, I'll talk to Sean about that. Uh, any questions about this one? Is there, uh, is there an explicit DEI -E -E objective? No. Do any of you have ideas for a specific DEI objective? Uh, I mean, I'm struggling with I this one. Because... If, a, if a project is dominated by one organization, that can, that can affect kind of inclusiveness for others wanting to join. They might ask questions like, would my, would my contributions even be welcome? Right? Uh, that's the... That's the only DEI one I can think of. You know, the other the other possibility is um, the idea that if um, if companies are paying people to contribute, um, you might get more more diversity because it, because it's not relying on people to volunteer. If people are being paid to do the work, you tend to get more more women and more people from underrepresented backgrounds who wouldn't have the volunteer time to contribute to a project. Does that resonate with people? Yeah, I think, uh, is there a way we can, uh, is there a way we can combine those two together? Or maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it's both. Uh, so organizational diversity can uh, organizational organizational diversity affects or uh, may affect the inclusiveness of a project uh, positively or negatively. Like that, but without the typos. Yeah, and then we could uh, we could give the two examples, or we could. I think examples would be good here.
like that. Yep, and I would just I would change the order just so we have parallel structure with the positive first. Good call. I like it. Okay. Any other feedback on this metric? I'll also check with Sean on an auger visualization. Can't type today. Okay. So I think my action items for this one is um, basically similar to Kevin's. Well, I should give people to these. Okay. Just delete these from the notes. Um, Okay, the next one is um, clones. So, Fano, do you want to talk about that? Do you want to share? Do you want me to just click the link? Just click the link. Um, so, this is like last release metric, not much to change. Few things I have observed in this. One is like synonyms, there was no synonyms and so now this needs to be clarified that we need the tags or synonyms or what that will be incorporated accordingly. So yeah, don't uh, don't worry about don't worry about the synonyms or context tags. That's, I when we go through and do that, I I'll actually be putting in a request to add those myself. So should I reject this at this point? I don't. You don't even need to worry about the synonyms. Okay. So, so they'll, just, they'll be going away. So you can, okay. yeah, you can get rid of it. Okay, so uh, second thing in this is in the objective section, we have referred to the project popularity. Uh, yep, over there, this one. So this metric has moved to a model, I think, project popularity. So are we still going to keep it as it is or this needs to be changed? Is that an actual... Was project popularity was that ever released as a metric? It was. Uh, it was a release metric. Then it converted to a model now, and it's now released a, a project influence rather than a popularity. I think. So, but this page on GitHub is still exists. So that needs to be fixed or. I mean, you could just get rid of the link. And, okay. uh, yeah, okay. I would change it to the the new model and, and link to the model. Okay. okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the model exists yet, though. Yeah. So, uh, so maybe just. Far. Okay. So we just keep it as a project popularity and remove the link. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that would be okay. Okay, okay. So I'll then just change it to the project's popularity and get rid of the link. I can hear I can hear Sean's voice in my head. That's <laughs> that's why we don't that's why we don't unpublish metrics <laughs> or un, yeah. unrelease metrics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and. Then if we go to the references section, we have one reference 
but when I'm opening that reference, it is the link is working, but it is not showing what it is supposed to show. So it's showing a general uh, dashboard rather than a particular discussion within that dashboard. If you open this link, uh, yep. So, so now I see a, yep, a general community, GitHub community discussion, but I don't see that discussion of uh, difference between forking and clone. So yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna hack on the link and see if I can get it to work. Nope. So one thing I was thinking is to look at the internet archive and where that uh, does this thing exist and we can point to the archive or something. I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to find it. Um, it looks like maybe what they've done is they've um, changed the way that the URLs are structured. Yes, that's what I'm assuming. The discussion will be there, but it, where it is, I don't know. You know, rather than linking to the archive, I'm going to guess that you can probably um, Google and find just a different. Well, okay. there's there's also I maybe we that delete one. it because the next article talks about the difference between a fork yes. and a clone. Maybe we don't need it at all if it doesn't work. Yeah. So if we don't need it, then I'll just delete it. Yeah. Okay. Let me get rid of this one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't. Better. I don't see. It's not a. If they moved it or changed the name on it, it's not. A, yep. It's not easily searchable anymore, so I, I can't find yeah. that article at all. So. Yep. So. And then the last thing is I've added this tag of loss reviewed. Okay. So, uh, and then, so I would, uh, I would go back to the. the oh, sorry. I was, just I, add, I was just going to add the date so that I don't oh. forget. Oh no, I was, I was just in, so uh, my comment on on the nods review is that I would go back to the same comment I made here, and that is, uh, can we can we add a uh, an explicit DEI objective? Oh, DEI. Hmm. Oh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. The DEI. I mean, it's just, it's just the answer, no. <laughs> <laughs> the answer can be no. The answer can be no. So what should uh, we write if the answer is no? Well, we don't have to write anything. Else. Okay. So okay. it's just uh, the, I think the, the guidance on this is to, yep. is to determine if there is a specific DEI objective that we can add. Yep. And if there's, if there's not, I don't think. I love that you're questioning it and asking that question, though. Um, yeah, plus one to making sure that we include that for anything we possibly can. Yep. Okay. Can you look at? Can, you, can I see the description real quick? Yeah. Love how simple that is. <laughs> but I don't know. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm cool. Okay. Um, so I think you probably take the same action item that that we did, which is this is a this is this is a revisited metric, right? Yes. Uh, this one. Yep. Okay. I don't even need to confirm the contributor because this was already in the mentioned in the metric list. So perfect. So you yeah. just need you just need and to do the PR. Yep. Okay. And then uh technical fork. Uh, I haven't worked on it. So because doing this one was taking like time. So well, I'm that's doing... perfect. Because you know what? We're out of time and we don't have time to review it anyways. So yep. uh, this is, that's why I'm going to work <laughs> for the next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. And then we'll follow up with Sean and Matt on the ones that they agreed to do. And then, um, as you said, you're still tracking down the visualizations for yes. time reviewer action. Yep. So we'll just carry over those action items to next week. Okay.
All right. In the uh, zero minutes we have remaining, does anyone have anything else that we need to talk about? No. Nope. Okay. Well, I feel like this is a really, really productive meeting with with the four of us. So, so thank you, thank you very much, everybody. I think we got a lot done. Yep. Oh, can can someone add my name to the Google Doc? I don't have that. The uh, meeting minutes. Oh yeah yeah. Ah. Uh, no, I need to restart my computer so Firefox will start working again. Okay, somebody else has to do that because I just want <laughs> that browser tab. I can do it. I'll do it. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.